Oh, he bunched up. Want your rake down? Yeah. Must want to rake her all downhill. There, I'll give you guys a little video of the Tyler doing his own field work. <laughs> oh, now he's running out of the wind row now. He's giving her. <laughs> oh, windrow's getting too big. She keeps plugging her ink up. Son of a. Ah, I figured I'd show you guys that, maybe get a kick out of it here. Then you come by, it's got a lot and sweep. And you'll uh, sweep her up. <laughs> How's everybody today? Hats. V500. And my new apron chain came today. Comes in two pieces. So, uh, I think I'm going to throw this in quick. Then I ain't got to worry about it anymore. So, I'll kind of show you guys what I do. And I've done it a couple times before. It ain't no big deal. So, Alright. Well, I just thing tore apart and put it back together. Alright. You guys uh, remember from my videos, some of you guys maybe never have seen this before, don't know. Um, for you new guys and the fresh everybody else's memory, first thing is we're going to have to run the conveyor empty. There's just a little feed in there. So, so before I loosen these up, and that one there, <laughs> I can't whistle. <clears throat> now run this conveyor out, then we'll loosen these up. Slide it back. Then I gotta find the uh, one of the two or three connector links or whatever. Then take it apart. Then I'll show you what I do from there. All right, let's fire this old girl up here. I got the uh, master links, uh, cotter keys or hair pins or whatever you guys want to call them. Take them out. I got the bolts, zing zang loose there, <laughs> and I got them beat back so it's all the way back. Well, it's not completely, but if we have to go all the way back, it'll take a little more room yet. But. Then I'll take these off, and I can't remember what the heck I did last time. It's been a few years since I've done it. But I think I'm going to try 
bringing the skid loader in here and I'm gonna oh yeah I got this the two chains connected here let's see where they're there might roll it up and then put it on a pallet fork so if I can get my pallets to sit on these edges here because it's got a you can't run it up through this way because it'll catch on there it's just on the inside there <clears throat> so I can get them to run down in there like that and then either run it or pull it through but you have to you know there's only way you can do this well there's more than one way but this is the easiest way you have to um, connect your old chain to your new chain so you can pull it <coughs> down through here so it goes all the way underneath there because there's no way opening that up it's uh, all molded or bent steel together so you know that's the basically the best way to do it you know you can I mean, I've broken these in half before and they pulled the train through and then I had to get a long rod with a string on it and put two strings through and then tie it to each chain and pull it through that way. But uh, the links are right here so we just put the chain together and pull it apart. So, Alright, well I'm going to figure out what the heck I'm going to do here and show you guys the uh, putting her together I guess. Putting a new chain in. Alright. Alright. Well, I got the chain up on the pallet fork here. I think I'm just going to do it by hand. It's not going to be that bad. I got the lanes connected. There's a wire in there. Then I'm just going <clears> to <throat> keep pulling on it here and rolling the chain up here until I get it to come through back there. And then I'll take it off and pull the rest of this old chain out. And we'll see how that works, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So. I don't remember how I did it last time. I did it, I don't know, it's been a few years ago already. And that was on the, um, that was a 420 Pats vertical. Um, or did I do it in the other fire? I don't remember anymore. I can't I remember yesterday. But. All right, I'm going to get at this here and show you guys as I go. All right. Seems not to be working too bad. I got the chain to come around, or just about. Just rolling it up and pulling it through as I go, so. What? I'm, make, I'm talking to YouTube. What? I said I'm talking to YouTube, guys. <laughs> Tyler's over there. Can't see the light. All right, I'll show you when I get her all the way through. All right. Got her coming back through. So I'm just gonna take the link off here now. And then uh, throw the old one out and then roll the new back, one them back in here and tighten everything up and be good to go. What's that? <laughs> well, <laughs> run on gears. Run on gears, yeah. He, Tyler says that's the railroad track. So. Yeah. Alright, we got the old one out. Now I'm just going to throw the new one in there. So, yeah. Are you guys back in when I get that in? Alright. Got the chain connected. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I do now. <sighs> Almost looks like I should take a link out of the chain. Shouldn't have come out here and looked for it, put it together, I guess. Well, I guess we'll see once. Maybe it should just be all the way to the end. Quite a bit of slack in there, though. Let's see once, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good. Oh, sorry, I'm waving you around, guys. Get in there, we go, you fucking thing. Yeah. 
Too bad they don't make half links. That's what it needs. About a half link out of there. Noisy fucking chicken. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna tighten it up here once and uh, see what it looks like. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna. It's topped all the way out, but the chain is tight. So what I think I'm gonna do is these new chains usually once they get a broke in there in the first few days, then they'll stretch out a little bit more. And then I'll back it off. It's not that big a deal. It's eight bolts and them tooth threaded bolts there and everything loosens up pretty easy. So then I think I'll just take a link out then and get her back to uh, so where I got more adjustment. But I am gonna go with that today anyways because well it's chores time again and gotta get uh, gotta get at them. There goes Tyler on his lawnmower. <laughs> that thing's got a lot of miles on it's all I know. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna tighten this up and I'll run her once and I just gotta tighten up these bolts on the bearings there. And what she looks like. Here, I'm gonna see how long this is and long enough or not. And, and uh, <laughs> but anyway, I'll add a little more if it is enough. Well, let's see what happens. Alright. <clears throat> well, guys, thanks for watching. I think it's long enough, but well, whatever. Like that. Yeah. Past 500. Chain replacement, I don't know what the heck. See where the uh Oh that's the one I welded to tack welded. Seem to hold on. And there's one of them I made. I should almost cut them out and <coughs> keep them for a spare or something, I think. Wow, see what happens. Then we next the other one. There it is. I don't remember. I made three of them. Huh. Yeah, that's right. There's another one. Some of you guys ain't seen that. I just took half inch bolts and welded it on there. See what it does, it cracks the ends all, wears them thin, and it just pulls through. 
there's the other one here. This is the last one I fix. Just remember that I didn't get it. It's welded on there, but this piece I had a hard time getting it back together. But, all right. It's getting long enough here. Rambling on again. Figured I'd just show some of you guys. Maybe it ain't seeing new guys, ain't seeing me. Seeing what I did with these links and how I fixed them. So, yeah. Well guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.